If text animation is the bread and butter of many motion designers, then the text reveal is the butter knife. Let me show you how I do this simple animation. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and I'm gonna create a rectangle on top of my text. Then I'm gonna set my text track mat to alpha mat. And that's gonna turn off the rectangle from visibility. By the way, if you don't see the alpha mat option, that's because you don't have this switch toggled. Okay, so once that's all set up, then all I have to do is animate the position of my text to animate into the center of the frame. And bada bing, bada boom, we got a text reveal. Now there are variations you can do on this technique like this one, which is also pretty easy to do. So let's get into that. This next one, I'm gonna animate the position of the shape layer rather than the text layer. And I'm just gonna animate that shape layer to come up to reveal the text. Once I've done that, now I'm gonna duplicate my shape layer and I'm going to delete the position properties on my new layer and I'm gonna parent it to the original shape layer and I'm gonna turn on the visibility. I'm gonna select white as the color just to match my text. Then I'm gonna grab the pan behind tool and bring the anchor point to the top left corner. Okay, now I'm gonna bring up the scale properties by hitting S. I'm going to unlink the horizontal and vertical scale. I'm gonna change the vertical scale to six and then I'm gonna start animating the in and out of the scale by creating two keyframes here and here. And then at the beginning, I'm going to change the horizontal scale to zero. And then at the end, I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'll ease all these, adjust my easing. And there we go. I have a line that reveals my text. It's really that simple. Okay, so here's another popular style. And I'm gonna start with just laying out my text how I want it to look. Then I'm gonna create position keyframes on both of my text layers. I'm gonna drag those out. Then I'm gonna copy the last keyframe and paste it as the first keyframe of the other layer. And I'll ease those keyframes like you do. Okay, and just like before, I'm going to grab my shape tool, create a box over my text, duplicate that shape layer, drag my new shape layer above my other line of text, and then I'm gonna set one of my text to alpha matte and the other to alpha inverted matte. And that's basically it. Now, if you wanna take this even a step further, grab all your layers, pre-compose, go to your effects, grab the transform effect, apply it to your new pre-comp, and play with the skew and you get this effect and then boom there you go you have a new text animation and that about wraps it up for this tutorial thanks for watching if you found that this was helpful please hit that like button to let us know and if you have any questions or ideas for future tutorials please leave a comment in the comment section below this video and if you want more content like this in the future make sure that you're subscribed thanks for watching again and we'll see you guys in the next video